this is the Hacken Gate? It's freaking huge! Of course it's huge! It acts as the sole entrance to the Empire, and is the rampart that protects the lib liberal from foreign threats. After it was destroyed in the war ten years ago, a much more robust wall was built in this place. Standard military action, bigger equals better. Which means that beyond this point is no longer liberal. Lib... or... Mm. It's the territory of the Ebonian Empire, which stands beneath the emblem of the Golden Stallion. Well, enough staring for one day. Let's go meet with General Morgan. There are some barracks right there on the to the side of the gate. Maybe we'll find them in there. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I didn't really like that. Yeah, reluctant indeed. Somehow I feel all weird about doing this. Indeed, there does. Don't worry, that's proof that you've started adjusting to being a bracer. Uh, really? I can't rotate the... No, I can clear... Okay, there's a maximum level of rotation in this area. That's a little weird. It is a little bit weird. But okay then. I'm thinking about visiting the Empire. It doesn't look like anyone's here to fill out the necessary paperwork, though. Well, it doesn't really matter to me, since I'm just live my life on a whim. In fact, the only reason I decided to travel to the Empire is, well, because I thought about it. Okay, so there's carefree, but I think you're taking it a little far. How in the world did you guys get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on as in road yet. We came here on an errand for Mayor Maybell from Bosse. Do you think you could get us in to see General Morgan? Hmm. You smooth, Joshua. In that case, I could definitely get you in to see the General, but unfortunately he's out for the moment. He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. It looks like, yeah. You don't happen to have an idea where he might return, when he might return, do you? I think he'll be back sometime today. There's a bar in that rest stop over there, so why don't you wait for him there? I'll let you know when he gets back. Hmm, I wonder. The screening process for those entering and leaving is really strict. So there's lots of travelers who have to wait for quite a while. It does make sense. Well then, we'll take you up on your suggestion and wait over there. Yep! Wait. Okay. I'm a merchant from the Erbonian Empire. I'm on my way to Bose. That blonde haired man over there is rather handsome and well dressed. But after talking to him, I found him a little odd. No one up here, just six beds. Ooh. It'll take. Oh, I don't have any money. 
Um, I have lots of this. And it's worth a fair amount, so... Good day and welcome to our humble establishment on the outskirts of Bose. Since this is a bar, we've got wine to drink and food to eat. Just don't expect anything too elaborate. Okay, what was in here again? Uh, what does this actually do? 150. Okay. I mean, I can make my own for these. They are really good, though. Uh, I don't really need to buy anything else. How much? How much does a rest stop cost? Oh. 60? What is my... Well, I don't think I need to. Blonde-haired man. What a surprise. This is my first time eating Liberals cooking, but it was rather delectable. I'm glad you liked it. If you head to town, there's a number of other places you can eat. Great liberal cooking as well. You enjoy this trip of yours, all right? That I will do, believe me. If this is the kind of food I can get in the, a border dive like this, then I truly am for, in for a feast elsewhere in this land. Well, excuse me for having my bar here. <laughs> Before you go feasting on the finer things, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high-end, but the taste is worth the price. Hmm. Well then, maybe I will. You seem to already have a glass of wine. Also, I sense that I'm going to learn your name at some point. <laughs> I wonder if this is the gun guy from the opening credits. Good day to you all, my fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal. May I ask you if you, you're traveling to the Empire? Nope, we're just here on an errand. We're not traveling into the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Erbonia yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Liberal Kingdom? I'm glad you asked. I am indeed a visitor in Liberal, both for work and pleasure. Eyebrow raise. And you, you say you're running an errand, but I can see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. Indeed, your bracers know. Wait, are you trying to tell us that you're in the same profession? It is true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but I'm not a bracer myself. I just know several people in the guild, that's all. There's an air about you that reminds me of them, so I just thought I'd ask. Those are some ex excellent deductive reasoning skills you've got. I don't think an amateur could have picked us out of a crowd like that. Such as this is a crowd. <laughs> Are you sure you're just a traveler? <laughs> Please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold, flickering eyes of amber. Just like a glass of exquisite brandy. You just... Uh... Are, are you drunk? I mean, I totally understand coming on to Joshua. Like, everyone does it. But you are remarkably upfront about it. <laughs> Wait a minute, you. Oh, come on, Estelle, don't be like that. Don't be so judgmental. I mean, uh, besides, this is Joshua we're talking about. Pretty much everyone we've encountered has thrown themselves at him in one way or another. I just can't help myself when I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. Okay, so basically, he likes 
He likes beautiful people, and he's not too particular about the details. I can get behind that. Although, again, he's remarkably upfront about it. <laughs> Supernal melodies and cleansing landscapes, masterpieces and stories to move the soul. And last but not least, the most exquisite in food and drink. For things such as these are those which pique my interest. Wow, Estelle, way to be judgmental. Don't be an asshole, Estelle. <laughs> okay, Shara. Shara, I, from you I, in particular, I really can't approve that. Estelle's a hot-headed idiot, but you know, you don't have any excuse. How dreadful it is that genius is misunderstood at every generation. I feel as if my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. You, with your magnificent black hair, please comfort me in my time of need. Okay, so... Hmm. I mean, they're playing this as a joke, but I actually really don't... I don't think this is funny. Or rather, him coming on to Joshua is funny because everyone comes on to Joshua. But the reactions of everyone involved here is like actually seriously turning me off. I don't. No, not that way. Don't don't be a creep. Um. I don't I don't like this. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, that aspect is sort of nice, sort of funny, though. I have to admit. Like, again, him flirting with Joshua and Joshua's reaction to it is, to is totally great. It it's the reaction of the girls here that bothers me a lot. Um, hey, you three! Oh, it's that soldier from earlier. The general has just returned. I just spoke to him about the matter, and he said he'll meet you now. Yep, so come to the barracks with me immediately. Indeed it was. Well, now at least maybe we'll be able to find out what's going on. Okay, then let's be off, shall we? Wait, is he coming with us? noticed. Everything about you all just seems so interesting. I thought I'd take a gander. Please don't mind me. Carry on. I'm good gent I'm... Carry on, my good gent and mademoiselles. <laughs> yeah, you tell Estelle. Well, wow, don't be like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I could stand to have him peg around longer, to be honest. I really liked him. The only thing that bothered me there were your was your reaction to him, Estelle. Yes. Uh, way to be judgmental, Estelle. I could hear some arguing. Was there some kind of problem with another traveler? No, no big problem like that. Indeed. His office is the last door on the left. Make sure you don't go wandering around in other places while you're where you're not permitted. Yeah, okay, like that's probably a fair assessment, actually. <laughs> but at the same time, that means Shiva. Ri 
Wait, Shiva? Shara. That means Shara really had no excuse. Although, then again, this is Joshua we're talking about. It's not outside of the realm of possibility she was also jealous. <clears throat> anyway. He said first door on the left, right? Well, hmm. Oh, no. I've accidentally gone to the right door. <laughs> I was involved in the search for the missing airliner until late last night, so I'm dead tired. Also, hey, welcome to the stream. I was supposed to be off duty today, but then we received an order to maintain the status in the fort. Okay, so what do you, what are the odds that we're gonna end up down here at some point? Hopefully not. I'm sure someone will. <laughs> Hopefully not us. Because of what happened ten years ago, all of the guards here are very tense. I hope we never have another bridge to this gate by the Imperial Army. The border is always confronted with threats from the Empire. Therefore, we must be extremely prudent in our actions, whatever we do. Otherwise, it could possibly give them a pretext to invade. Alright, here goes nothing. Are you here on behalf of Mayor Maybell? Oh, you know, that is not a gruff voice. That's right. <laughs> Very well. Come inside. Thanks for seeing us. I'm glad that you came. My name is Morgan. I've been tasked with guarding the Hacking Gate by Her Majesty Queen Elysia. It's an honor to meet with you, sir. We are all here on behalf of Mayor Maybell. Please pardon our intrusion during such a busy time. Mm. This is this is really good tea. I, I just picked up like four tea samplers the other day. Try, I'm trying one of them right now. Nice black tea with vanilla. <laughs> anyway, there's no need to apologize. I've known Maybelle since she was but a child. I couldn't imagine ignoring her request. Much less one from the mayor. Alright then, would you please read this first? Hmm, so it's about the missing airliner, is it? Under ordinary circumstances, that information would be strictly confidential. But considering this is a request coming from her, I'll tell you everything I know. Uh... Estelle. Yeah... So we've wanted to do anything we can to assist her. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that she is being blessed with some good people around her. Let me get right down to things and explain the status of our search efforts. The airliner, Lind, disappeared on its way to Roland after taking off from the Bose landing port. Presently, we have units searching all areas of the region but we have yet to come up with anything. Um, it does seem unlikely. Like, we probably would have found something if it was caused by an accident. If an airship of that size had crashed, it likely would have been discovered in the initial search. Yes, that is exactly right. In 
fact, the flight route between Bosse and Roland goes over some plains that allow a commanding view of the land. And of course, the probability of that airliner going down in Valeria Valley or the ocean is extremely low. So if those have been ruled out, then that leaves the door open for the possibility that the airship could have been taken over, right? Which makes me think the only remaining motive must be the loot, to loot the cargo or demand a ransom. In other words, hijacking, right? Also, considering the geographical conditions, it could have been a covert operation carried out by the Imperial Army. And that would be really big news if it were the case. What's the matter, General? I was just thinking that that's quite an impressive assessment for civilians. We also consider the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved, so we have enforced strict regulations on the flow of information. An international incident, if taken lightly, could result in another war. But thanks to the small mercies of Ideos, the possibility for another conflict disappeared early this morning. A certain organization sent a letter to the royal family and Orval Ship Co. claiming responsibility and demanding a ransom for the passengers. This organization goes by the name of the Capula family. Wait, what? Isn't that the one we ran into in Roland? I have n hmm. I don't think that they are actually responsible. Like, I think they're claim they're trying to get money out of a situation they did not cause. But I I don't think they're responsible. It certainly appears that way. The Sky Bandits, pirates, <clears throat> who have been operating in the shadows of the Bose region and are led by three siblings at their head. I take it you've heard of them. Not only have we heard of them, we just had a run-in with them in Roland! I just can't believe those good-for-nothing thieves managed to create such a big incident here in Bose. Oh, Estelle. Estelle, Estelle, Estelle. Yeah. I thought the way you were able <laughs> to analyze the situation was strange for mere civilians. But I never would have guessed that a girl and a couple of kids like you were bracers! I mean... No, that's a fair assessment. Although, also, way to judge a book by its cover, dude. Just for the record, Mayor Maybell did in fact request that we come here to, and talk to you. Silence, deceivers! Get in here, men! So this is a hard-nosed military man- how a hard-nosed military man acts, eh? These bracers need to be shown the door! Wrong voice. Throw them out immediately! Well... We basically got the information we needed. Hmm. You're no different. Hiding your identity so you could try and fidangle some information out of me. I mean, we in fact did- we in fact were pretty much legitimate. The, we didn't reveal we were bracers because we knew we would re re react badly, but everything we said was also the truth. So... <laughs> Basically, you're sort of a asshole. Seriously? What self-serving circular logic? Uh, indeed. Nonsense! Who in their right mind would leave an incident this big in the hands of a mere civilian group? I swear, of all the stupid things Maybell could have tried to pull, hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in the way of our search party. How are we?
are we getting in the way? What? Why do you think we've had to come all the way from Roland to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, you morons aren't doing your job! <laughs> yeah. For the past few months, you've known about a string of burglaries which seem to be the work of Sky Bandits, right? And who, knowing full well it was them, dumped the workload on the guild instead of looking into it themselves. And now, the second this incident happens, you get in your high horse with that attitude. And yet you've got nothing to show for it! No hostages or even the location of the missing airliner. Don't you think that's an embarrassment to the entire kingdom, General? The military is an organization that runs on discipline and does not take action on a whim. Unlike a group I know, who wouldn't think ahead and let the Sky Bandits escape. So enough of your insolence. So you're really looking for a fight, aren't you? 